Good morning, guys. So, my morning is starting pretty crappy, to be quite honest. Uh, the flare-up got so bad that I'm not even able to take a shower this morning. So, I just freshened up a bit, but um, I'm annoyed that I couldn't take a shower. I really, really like to take a shower in the morning and it helps actually with the pain sometimes but if you're not even able to get in there yeah that's just great so i'm sitting at ghetto and i have to take my meds now and get ready and get going and the thing is i'm in so much pain, I can't really work, but also I can't take Gitta because I can't push that far. So that's kind of annoying. I'm kind of really starting to hope that the that I will be able to get the emotion, which is kind of like the smart drive, but from uh, another provider and yeah i really really hope that the motion is going through that i will be that it will be approved but i don't know of course so since i can't push i have to walk i don't know how i will get there exactly but I will keep you updated. Hey guys, so I'm almost at my physical therapist's office. I still have a little bit of time. So I checked off my trip to the bank. And yeah, this is so weird. This is my first time vlogging in, you know, public. But yeah, it's actually quite cold this morning. And I thought about putting on a jacket and I was like, eh. You know, he probably will get hot and just have to carry it around. But I stepped a few, you know, I took a few steps outside and I was like, this is cold. But I'm living on the second floor, so I was not really tempted to go back up to my flat and get a jacket. So yeah, that's nice. But... But it's still closed, so I still have some time. Ooh, it's nice weather. I mean, it's blue sky and the sun is shining and yeah. Okay, I see you later. Hey guys, so physical therapy went kind of great actually. It did hurt a lot, but it also helped and because I'm a very noisy person, <laughs> I actually asked my physical therapist if she could feel like if my muscles felt kind of different while I'm having a fibroblast, like a flare-up. And she was like, yeah, well, your muscles are under more suspense than usually, which I think is kind of interesting to be quite honest. Oh my, I actually made it home. I kind of had to drag myself up the stairs. Not the most pleasant experience, but you know. Okay, we'll take care of the rest later. Really have to lie down now, at least for a bit. Hey guys, so it is half past nine and 
I realize that I'm looking a little bit pale and it's not just because I'm sitting in front of a white wall and all that stuff. It's I'm really looking that pale, but yeah. Um I for the most of the day have Listen to an audiobook I really like and it gives me um it gives me some joy definitely so it brighten up my day and that's why I love reading so much, you know. I'm basically trapped in my apartment and trapped in my body but and in my bed. But books give me the possibility to escape to for different worlds and different times and all of that and being on adventures I can't do myself in real life but through books I'm living a life that is so amazing and rich and It stuns me every time I'm reading a new amazing book. It's just it's mesmerizing. It really is, but yeah. Not here to talk about books, so I can't tell you that the pain is getting any better. I actually got a migraine on top of it. Two hours back, I took something and now it's gone again, but not very pleasant. But besides that, I really try to hold still today and not do a lot. And I know I accomplished that for the most of it, but still doing nothing. Even though that is a weird thing to say in that matter, but it's just, it's sometimes it is just excruciating. So, yeah. The thing is, doing nothing is not really correct. I'm staying in bed and lying down and giving my time body the time to recover for at least a little bit that's not doing nothing that's doing something very vital in the life of a chronically ill person and I just have a very very difficult time accepting that for myself for others for others I'm always like you're not doing nothing you're giving your body what you need and that's the most important thing but when it comes to myself I'm always like yeah well don't be so whiny don't make a fuss out of it don't make it worse than it is then I'm ignoring my body's signals because of that and what do you know a few minutes later I'm lying on the floor because I can't stand anymore and you know so I'm really trying to hear my body and see the signals that are sending me and really try to give it what it needs but let's be real it's not always easy not at all yeah that was the word on Monday evening and I will now go to bed and promise myself that I will definitely not do a lot tomorrow. Can't be so hard, right? Wrong, but I promise myself that I will try my best to just try to relax give my body what it needs and recharge a bit 
especially since I really have to go outside on Wednesday because it's my weekly therapy session so yeah I really have to rest tomorrow I know I'm repeating myself a lot right now but you know the more I'm saying it and telling it myself the more I'm tr starting to believe it and the more I'm more likely to do it I don't know if that's weird or if that's something only I do but saying it out loud repeating it over and over again sometimes helps you visualize it and actually do it or not do it rather you know not do anything do rest okay I really really have to stop now though but yeah that's it from me for today I hope you had a good day and remember to always keep fighting. I see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Damn, I promised myself I would not forget to tell you and now I did anyway, but well, my I was just kind of smiling before I went on here because my dad actually sent me an email and he said, look, my new neighbor, and it was like, Okay, that's weird. Why would he send me a picture of his new neighbor? And I mean, there are no real, not really any neighbors where he lives. Just a lot of wood and, you know, trees and, yeah, a lot of grass. Green, green grass. Grass, grass. Green, green grass, but not a lot of people. And I was like, yeah, no, this is not going to be a person. And then I opened up the email and it was a bird and it looks so beautiful. So I thought I'm going to share this with you and put in the picture right here now. And after you watched it, you can say goodnight. I see you tomorrow.